man, some more pain in the market as the FOMC minutes are released. I'm here sat in my hotel giving you an emergency update because I promised that if there was anything significant in the FOMC minutes, I would give you guys an update. You can see here in the Bitcoin price action, when the minutes were released, this was the hourly candle here where my cursor was. We had a big move, wicking up and wicking down crazy movements. But overall, we have seen a little bit of stabilization over the last four or five hours here on Bitcoin. But it's so far, it's played out exactly as we expected. We'll jump straight back into the charts. But first, we need to see how are the markets reacting you see the Nasdaq here remaining slightly green, S&P falling slightly red and Dow Jones falling red as the Fed affirms their tough stance on inflation. Now, I'm going to save you the pain of reading through this 13 page report because that's what I'm here to do for you. I'm going to summarize it in a seven or eight minute video, which you've watched in times two speed. You'll be done in four minutes. Slash the likes. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Check out the links in the description. So, Remember when I said the main thing about this report was going to be, do they say anything blockbuster? No, they didn't say anything blockbuster. Now, the other thing we wanted to look at was, did anybody dissent? In other words, did any Fed officials talk about 50 basis points and Jerome Powell had to calm them down? So I've jumped straight over to this page. If you guys want to read this page in detail, you can download it on their FOMC website. All participants agreed that it was appropriate to raise the target range for the Fed funds rate by 25 base points. We know that they agreed. Here's the red. A few participants stated that they favored raising the target range for the federal funds rate 50 basis points at this meeting or that they could have supported raising the target by that amount. The participants who said that said that it would be more quickly bring the target range close to the levels they believed would achieve a sufficiently restrictive stance. And this is what the market's focused on right now. So if we jump on back over, I want to show you the major shift we're seeing. Good, we've got a refresh. Thank you for taking your time there. So this is a major shift, guys, which people are not talking about. And this is changing every minute when I refresh it. When we spoke this morning, this was sitting at 20%. When we spoke a couple of days ago, it was less than 8%. And what did I say? Guys, watch out for people pricing in 50 basis points at the next meeting. If they do so, it's going to lead to short-term pain. But if on March the 22nd, the Fed come out and just do 25 basis points again, we could see a crazy rally because all this has to unwind. Now, look what you've seen. That pricing in of 50 basis points has gone from 8% of the market to 20% this morning. Now 30%. So another 10% jump just because of the FOMC minutes here of the market pricing in 50 basis points. That is not insignificant. And that is why you're seeing some pressure to the downside in the markets. So we have to watch tentatively for this. Now, we heard from Bullard earlier. If you've not watched my video earlier in the day, go watch that. I explain exactly what Fed, uh, one of the Fed officials Bullard spoke about. He's quite hawkish. And he came out and he did say that we could be avoiding recession this year. So we're still seeing this. Um, we're still seeing that that Fed official is thinking we can pull it off. Now, why is that more important than the FOMC minutes? We need to understand that because the market is a bit confused sometimes. It'll pay more importance on the FOMC minutes just because it's the FOMC. But what Bullard said this morning was much more important. And the reason for that is these FOMC minutes, that document I showed you, the 13 page document that was typed up at the time of the January meeting. OK, since then, you've had bad CPI, you've had bad PPI. We get PCE inflation on Friday. The market's got to take that into account. So Bullard's latest comments this morning were actually really important. So make sure you go watch that as well. And to give you a short recap of it, he wasn't as hawkish as we would have thought. He's the mo most hawkish member. He's not a voting member. But he's one of the most hawkish members. So we still got this little bit of confidence from the Fed saying that we still need to keep increasing rates. We need to bring inflation down. But remember what Jerome Powell said in January, the disinflation process has started. So they, they do expect to see a lot of lagging uh, numbers in the CPI. And they don't think just yet that we've got entrenched inflation. But the market's starting to not believe them. And that is why the market wants to start pricing in 50 basis points and doing Jerome Powell's dirty work for him to get that out, to, to really pull the market back down, get that retracement out, okay? So that's the fear the market has. And I just want to zoom out a little bit here. What is the big fear market has? I don't think the fear is of a recession. I think the market is priced in a recession. They're used to recessions. The big fear markets have is of the Paul Volcker time, where Paul Volcker had to raise rates really quickly and he got left with this sticky, entrenched inflation to 14, 15 years to get rid of. That's what they don't want. They don't want to, they don't want to miss out on a potential boom period just 
just because the Fed haven't tackled inflation properly. They'd rather the Fed go, slam us into a recession, bring inflation down to 2 3%, instead of having 5 5 5.5% uh, percent sticky entrenched inflation for a very long time. So that's where we're sat with the market. Now, let's jump back into the charts here, guys, because... What I shared with you was here on the hourly, we were falling out of this triangle. Now, at the time of the video earlier today, we were bouncing here. And what did I say? I said, that's odd. We didn't hold this support here and we're creating a bit of semi support. But I said, no, we got to look at the bottom of the wedge. The technical target from breaking down from this triangle is to reach the bottom of the wedge where you hope to see support come in. So that gives you 23.5. Uh, $23.5 thousand dollars. Now look where you came to here. You came to 23,594. So it, it's coming close to this level. Now I think we could even come and test it properly. Like come back down here and test this level. If we lose this level, then you do have to start looking at the next period of consolidation, which is closer to 22,700. So short term, there could be a little bit of pain in this market. And we've got to be prepared for that. I mean, if we pop this up to the daily chart, just to put this into context, what everybody's crying about, this is what they're crying about. A red candle here yesterday, where we're down 2.6%, and a red candle today, where we're down 2.6%. You ignore all of this run-up we've had, right? So that's when you know you're starting to get these tourists, these people who are FOMOing back in the market. Any rational person who's been DCAing and sat in the market is loving this. We were at 15,500 a little while ago, and now Bitcoin's above its EMA ribbon, chilling, not even coming, uh, just now coming down to get a retest. Right. So you can look at this and go, that's normal. I want Bitcoin to come and test it. Of course, if you lose your email ribbon, if I've shown you on the weekly chart plenty of times, if the bear starts stepping on the weekly chart and start rejecting us from that EMA ribbon, that's more worrying. Right. This is where we start getting worried. But so far, look at last week. Last week, we took 11.4 percent. So, so far this week, if we're down 1.92 percent, is it the end of the world? No. What will be at the end of the world is the Fed lose control of inflation. If it's entrenched, if we have a problem and the Fed need to come out swinging with 55, 50 basis point rate hikes. And that's what the market's trying to price it. So there you have it, guys. Quick emergency updates to keep you guys in the know on the FOMCMC minutes and what happened. Let me know if you appreciate that. Smash up the likes. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you're doing in this market in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one.